Have you ever wondered how dynamite and explosive that shaped the course of history came to be? Well, let's dial back the clock to the mid-19th century and meet the man behind its invention, Alfred Nobel. Born in Stockholm, Sweden, Nobel was a chemist, engineer, and inventor who wore many hats. But it was his invention of dynamite in 1867 that truly etched his name into the annals of history. But why did Nobel set out to create dynamite? The answer lies in the fact that before dynamite, the primary explosive used was nitroglycerin, a highly unstable and dangerous substance. Nobel's own brother, Emil, tragically lost his life in a nitroglycerin explosion. This personal loss fueled Nobel's determination to develop a safer explosive. The result? Dynamite. A stable, manageable, and powerful explosive that was safer to handle than nitroglycerin, yet retained its explosive power. Nobel combined nitroglycerin with diatomaceous earth, a type of soft rock, creating a paste-like substance that could be safely ignited with a blasting cap. This significant invention earned Nobel a patent and a permanent place in the history books. But the invention of dynamite didn't just revolutionize the explosives industry. It had far-reaching implications that changed the world. In the mining industry, dynamite made it possible to excavate deeper and more efficiently, opening up vast new resources. The construction industry also reaped the benefits, as dynamite made it feasible to clear large areas of land quickly and safely, not to mention its impact on warfare, where it provided a new level of destructive power. However, Nobel was deeply conflicted about the destructive uses of his invention. In an effort to leave a positive legacy, he bequeathed his vast fortune to establish the Nobel Prizes, awarded for advancements in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. So, dynamite, a revolutionary invention by Alfred Nobel, changed the world in more ways than one. From mining to construction, warfare to the Nobel Prizes, the ripples of Nobel's invention continue to impact our world today. Now that we know when and why dynamite was invented, do you have any idea what it is made of? Well, dynamite is a fascinating concoction of some pretty interesting ingredients. Let's dive into what makes this explosive so, well, explosive. The primary ingredient in dynamite is nitroglycerin. This is a highly unstable and shock-sensitive liquid. It's so sensitive in fact that the slightest jolt, impact, or even a sudden change in temperature can cause it to detonate. This is where the sheer power of dynamite comes from. Nitroglycerin is made by adding glycerin into a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acids. The result? An extremely potent explosive. But with such volatility, nitroglycerin alone is far too dangerous to handle. So, how do we make it safer? Enter diatomaceous earth, the stabilizer. This is a soft, crumbly, porous, sedimentary deposit formed from the fossil remains of diatoms, a type of hard-shelled algae. It's added to the nitroglycerin to absorb it, creating a safer, solid form that's much less likely to explode from casual handling. Next up we have sodium carbonate. This is a type of salt, often used in cooking and cleaning. But in dynamite it serves as a pH regulator. It neutralizes the acidity of the nitroglycerin making it even more stable. Last, but certainly not least, is camphor. This substance derived from the wood of the camphor tree is added as another stabilizer. It also helps to prevent the nitroglycerin from sweating out of the dynamite. You see, nitroglycerin has a tendency to seep out of the dynamite over time, especially in warmer temperatures. This can lead to a dangerous situation where the nitroglycerin can explode unexpectedly. Camphor helps to prevent this from happening. So, there we have it. Nitroglycerin for the explosive power, diatomaceous earth and camphor for stability, and sodium carbonate for pH balance. These components together create a powerful and yet safe to handle explosive, the dynamite. So how is dynamite utilized in various fields? Let's delve into the fascinating applications of dynamite in various industries. Our exploration begins with the construction industry. Dynamite, a highly powerful and controlled explosive, is often used to blast through rock making way for highways, skyscrapers, and tunnels. This makes construction in the rugged terrains possible, and we can thank dynamite for the breathtaking mountain roads and tunnels piercing through the heart of hills. Next, we move on to mining. The delicate white powder of dynamite is used to extract valuable minerals and gems from the earth. The power of the blast breaks the rock, revealing the hidden treasures within. Mining without dynamite? Well, that's as unimaginable as a chef without his ingredients. From the depths of Earth now let's take a leap to the theater of war. Dynamite has been used during warfare for demolition purposes. Whether it's to destroy a strategic bridge or to clear a path through a jungle, dynamite has been a game changer on the battlefield. Imagine a master general using dynamite like a chess piece, strategically deciding where and when to create a boom. But remember, 
Though dynamite may seem like a powerful tool, its usage requires expertise. Its production, handling, and usage are all fraught with danger, and thus it is best left to the professionals. And voila, you now understand the multifaceted uses of dynamite. It's fascinating, isn't it? How this powerful tool came into existence and how it's made. Let's take a step back and revisit the journey we've just been on. In the mid-19th century, Alfred Nobel, a Swedish chemist and engineer, revolutionized the world with the invention of dynamite. Nobel's ingenious mind combined nitroglycerin, a highly unstable and dangerous liquid, with diatomaceous earth, creating a safer, more manageable explosive. The composition of dynamite is quite a marvel. It consists primarily of nitroglycerin, absorbed into a stabilizing agent like diatomaceous earth or sawdust. This blend is then wrapped in a protective casing, making it safer to handle and use. But how do we get from these raw materials to the infamous red sticks we all know? The making of dynamite involves a delicate process of mixing, absorbing, and packing. It requires precise measurements, careful handling, and a lot of patience. So, that's the story, and the science, behind dynamite, an explosive that truly reshaped our world. Thanks for joining us on this explosive journey.